and we have gotten to where the author says Mu'an'anun ka'an Sa'eedin an karam he says Mu'an'an is like an Sa'eed an karam he's saying there's a type of hadith called Mu'an'an and it's called that because in the chain, every narrator says an fulan, an fulan, an fulan, which means from, an means from, from fulan, from fulan, from fulan, as opposed to saying, for example, fulan told me, or I heard from, I, I heard him saying, for example, just merely an, an fulan, an fulan, an fulan, so that's called mu'an an. وعنعنون. This type of hadith is like عن سعيد عن كرم from سعيد from كرم and etc. and then you keep going. So he didn't give a clear definition here. He rather gave an example. What's the exact definition of معنعن hadith? We'll leave that for when we get to the explanation. Insha Allah Taala. ومبهم ما فيه راو لم يسم وَمُبْهَمٌ مَا فِيهِ رَاوٍ لَمْ يُسَمْ And then there's a type called مُبْهَمْ وَمُبْهَمْ That's the type that has a narrator that's not named. مُبْهَمْ means ambiguous. وَمُبْهَمٌ مَا فِيهِ رَاوٍ لَمْ يُسَمْ The ambiguous hadith is the one that has a narrator who's unnamed. Like says in the chain, from a shaykh or from a man or from a woman. So what's the judgment of something like that in the chain? We'll see. But keep all these scenarios in mind. They're very important. And one thing you want to be mindful about is when you listen to the news. Especially these days. These days, news is very different from how it, I think, how it used to be. Very bad now. Very corrupt and uh, partisan. But even back in the day, they would give you stories without telling you their sources. They say, our sources tell us. So what's that? That's mubham. These are your sources. Ambiguous. Fundamentally, that's not acceptable. Is there any way for it to be acceptable? We'll see. But you be mindful about that before someone tells you, my, my sources say, I get it from good sources. Someone told me. And then there's a type of person who wants to tell you something, but he doesn't want to tell you who told him. Who told him. You be mindful of that person too. Yeah, I heard such and such. Who told you? Well, I don't think he'd like me to tell you. Uh, keep it to yourself then. What did the scholars say? Lawla al-isnad laqala man sha'a ma sha'a. Had it not been for the chain of narration, whoever wanted to say something would have said whatever he wanted to say. وَكُلُّ مَا قَلَّتْ رِجَالُهُ عَلَىٰ وَضِدُّهُ ذَاكَ الَّذِي قَدْ نَزَلَىٰ And the more the men of the chain are few, yani the fewer the men of the chain are, وَكُلُّ مَا قَلَّتْ رِجَالُهُ The fewer its men are, عَلَىٰ The higher it is. What? Yes. Meaning, remember this is mustalah, this is jargon, terminology. So high here means fewer narrators. The fewer narrators it has in the chain, the higher the chain is. Does that mean more authentic though? Does not mean more authentic. Fewer narrators does not mean more authentic, but when you have fewer people in the chain, it makes it easier to check. The more people in the chain, the more effort you have to put to verify the information. So you ask a person, who told you that? And he tells you, Fulan. And I say, okay, thank you. Then you go right to Fulan. You say, Fulan. Did you say such and such? Or did you tell so such and such? Did you tell Fulan such and such? So you're tracing it back. So he says, let's say, yes. So then you might say, where you got that from? So then he might say, from Fulan, for example, and so on. So the more people in there, 
the harder it's going to be to verify. But doesn't mean it's less authentic because there are more people in the chain. وَكُلُّ مَا قَلَّتْ رِجَالُهُ عَلَى the, the fewer its men are, meaning the men of the chain, the higher it is. وَضِدُّهُ ذَاكَ الَّذِي قَدْ نَزَلَ And it's opposite. That's the one that has descended. That's the one that went down or went lower. So the opposite of a high chain is a low chain. So that means then what? Means the more men in the chain, the lower the chain is. Does that mean less authentic? Does not mean less authentic. وَمَا أَضَفْتَهُ إِلَى الْأَصْحَابِ مِنْ قَوْلٍ وَفِعْلٍ فَهْوَ مَوْقُوفٌ زُكِمٌ Finally, he talked about the companions. He said, and what you attributed it to the companions, whether a saying or an action, then that's موقوف, suspended or stopped, stopped at a companion, halted. Zukin, a ulim, that's known. وَمَا أَضَفْتَهُ إِلَى الْأَصْحَابِ مِنْ قَوْلٍ وَفِعْلٍ فَهْوَ مَوْقُوفٌ زُكِينٌ Anything you attributed to a companion of a saying or an action, then that is halted. Yani, that is known to be halted, stopped at a companion. This word here, zukin, which means early known, that's really filler. Filler, that means needed to complete the line so that you don't break the beat. So if you're familiar with poetry, then you know that type of thing. When you listen to lyrics, I'm talking about lyrics from a skilled lyricist, not a mumble rapper or someone who's garbage. Someone who's skilled lyricist put, put lyrics together properly, rhymes together with beat properly, with meter properly. Sometimes he needs to throw a word in between his words or in the front or in the back just to keep the beat. So he might say, you know, or like that, just a filler. So then he says, وَمُرْسَلٌ مِنْهُ الصَّحَابِيُّ سَقَطُ وَكُلْ غَرِيبٌ مَا رَوَى رَاوٍ فَقَطُ And Mursal, that means released, let go. He says, it is that from which a companion fell. It's a hadith that a companion fell out of its chain. He wants to say, the tabi'i is saying, the messenger of Allah said, but the tabi'i never met the messenger so he's saying here, the mursal is the hadith in which the companion fell out of the chain or was dropped out of the chain. What well, really means fell, sakat. Sakatahua. The companion fell out of the chain. Uh, what do we say here about this definition? Anyone remember uh, how to comment on this definition here? Mursal, he says, is that which a companion fell from the chain. Okay, remember, Mursal Hadith, this is not how to define it. Rather, Mursal Hadith is a Hadith in which a Tabi'i attributes the Hadith to the Prophet directly. So you might say, isn't it the same thing? The, the companion is dropped out of the chain. It's not the same thing. Because if we knew that the one who fell out of the chain was a companion, if we knew that for sure, then we're going to say it's a continuous chain. Because remember, the companions, this is where the rule is applicable that some people misapply. As-sahabatu kulluhum udul. All of the companions are upright. Here is where it goes. This is in reference to hadith reporting. All of the companions are trustworthy when it comes to hadith reporting. So ignorance of the companion in reality is harmless. As long as we know it's a companion. 
ignorance of the companion is harmless. So had we known that this tabi'i is narrating from a companion who narrates from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but we don't know who that companion is, then no problem. But there's a problem when it comes to Mursal Hadith, or at least a potential one, because some scholars accept Mursal Hadith is not problematic for them. It could be that some scholars accept the problem, the, the Mursal Hadith, so it's not problematic for them. Not absolutely, though. They don't absolutely accept Mursal Hadith, even the ones who accept it. Not absolutely. But it's acceptable to them. It's potentially acceptable to them, like the Hadith, that there's no riba with the kafir in the kafir country there is no usury with a kafir in a kafir country this is hadith mursal a tabi'i attributed it to the prophet without mentioning his intermediary and to other scholars it's unacceptable to them mursal hadith by itself is unacceptable because we don't know who's missing because maybe there's a tabi'i that fell from the chain too for sure, we don't know the companion in there. Okay, but that's not the problem. Because ignorance of the companion is not a problem in itself. The problem is, how do we know there's not someone else too missing from the chain? Is there a tabi'i? This tabi'i who's reporting directly from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, although he never met him. Who's he dropping? Is he dropping another tabi'i and a companion? Or possibly... Two and a companion, or three and a companion, we don't know. So, better way to define Mursal Hadith is, it's a Hadith where the Tabi'i attributes the Hadith to the Prophet directly. And not to say it's a Hadith in which a companion is missing from the chain. Because even when a companion narrates a hadith, he could be dropping a companion out of the chain. Don't you know that the companions sometimes narrated from each other? Yes. So if the companions sometimes narrated from each other, but he could be just dropping the one he heard from and relating directly from the messenger, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. There's no problem here because ignorance of the companion is not a problem. So we'll see, inshallah, when we come to the explanation. And say, a gharib hadith, gharib means, here means loner, stranger. Like if someone comes to town and nobody knows him. What do you call him? Or how do you describe him? He's gharib. He even describes himself that way. If someone said, you know, someone might say, I'm gharib, means I'm not from around here. He's a loner. So, وَقُلْ غَرِيبٌ Say the gharib hadith is مَا رَوَى رَوِينْ فَقَطُ What one narrator narrated only. But someone might think the word gharib means strange. Doesn't mean strange here. وَكُلُّ مَا لَمْ يَتَّصِلْ بِحَالِي إِسْنَادُهُ مُنْقَطِعُ الْأَوْصَالِ And every report or any report that its chain is not connected somewhere any hadith that it has someone missing from the chain somewhere, then it's called munqati'ah. Munqati'ah. Severed. Munqati'ul awsali. It's a severed hadith, meaning its chain is severed. وَكُلُّ مَا لَمْ يَتَّصِلْ بِحَالِي إِسْنَادُهُ مُنْقَطِعُ الْأَوْصَالِ so the Mursal hadith we just finished talking about is that Munqatir? It is a type of Munqatir, but they don't call it Munqatir, they call it Mursal. Because of the 
place of the interruption which is that someone is missing between the prophet and the follower of the companion so because of the place of the interruption in particular here this one has its own name special type and some scholars even accept it but if the interruption is after that so if the interruption is from the tabi'i that means a follower of the followers is attributing the hadith is reporting directly from a companion a follower of the followers is reporting directly from a companion from the prophet now this is called munqati' and then from there anyone missing from the chain from there and beyond is called munqati' severed chain or severed hadith wal mu'dal wasaqit min huthnani the mu'dal problematic hadith is asaqit min huthnani the one in which two narrators have fallen consecutively two in a row if it's not two in a row if there's two narrators missing from the chain but not consecutively then it's still moon qatir so moon qatir hadith is going to start being called moon qatir from the tabi'i not between the prophet and the tabi'i is missing between the follower of the follower and the companion is missing from there it will call be called moon qatir from there and on and beyond and even if there's more than one narrator missing but not simultaneously not consecutively not more than one at a time one here and then one there this is still called moon qatir so we'll see inshallah when we get to it but once you have two narrators missing in a row or more then it's called mu'dal problematic wal mu'dal saqit min huthnani وَمَا أَتَى مُدَلَّسًا نَوْعَانِي The problematic hadith is the one in which two have fallen from it. And what has come as a rigged hadith is two types. Rigged, yani manipulated, tampered, but we'll see. There's two types of them, but we're going to stop here. We'll have a short lesson today. Insha'Allah Ta'ala, Maghrib is just upon me, so I just want to get ready for... Uh, Can I ask a question, no, Sheikh? For Maghrib. Yes, please. I just wanted to ask, um, what does it mean continuous chain? When we say continuous up to the Prophet, does that mean that none of the, the narrators, any of them have fallen from the chain? Yes. That's correct. And, uh, and continuous, does that mean that it's Sahih? Or no, it doesn't clear. mean sahih. It only means that no one's missing from the chain. I mean, wafikum. Could be continuous chain and it's a weak hadith. Okay, so let's stop here. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.